There's this dude who's got no skills. Oh, God, he relates to him. Yo, you ever think about purpose? Oh, God. <sighs> Just drop this ass. Drop that ass. They got 18 months. Make that money back. Stand right. They're trying to trick us. Make us think everything's going It'll good. Be great, right? All right. They're going through it. 12 weeks. Oh, 12 weeks to open. Three months. Do you think he thinks I'm a loser? Yeah. And if it's salvageable. No. Yes. <laughs> uh, hey, how are we doing, chefs? Not good. Cool. Good. Ah. <sighs> Damn, the chefs is doing all the carpentry? Yeah, you save on some labor now. Good luck. Okay. Yo, come on, fridge guy. Yo. Wait. My bad. Yo. You just do the phone? That's crazy. Stuff. Sometimes I look like February. Sure. <laughs> it's productive. I can't wait to talk about spoons. Hey, where's the phone? Oh, wow. <laughs> Can you order a new one? Sure. You shove it up wow. your ass. Marcus. Yeah, Marcus <laughs> yeah, Mark literally just. Maybe he should be playing for the Bears. My sister doesn't think I'm a genius. So. Doesn't hurt. Oh. <laughs> They're watching YouTube you tutorials. To... All right. All right, gentlemen. I'm taking all this operation. Exactly how I feel when I watch a YouTube tutorial. All this pain. That's what I just said. Yeah, but what you didn't say, what you didn't say is that there's no reason to move. Marcus, I never thought I'd see the day where you'd form an actual alliance with Neil Jeff. Right. <laughs> like no, yeah. no, it's just like common sense. Move the lockers first. I'm watching a guy who does this shit all the fucking time. Oh, my God. Who's here? Tell you what. You take half the guys in the dining room. There's only good? three guys. Dude, I need all... <laughs> Fine, we'll do it your way. You take uh, two guys. Good? It's still your... Go. Yeah, what? Well, no, you just went down on... One way. It's the fucking right way. Watch this. Nah. You just, wow. you called mom? <laughs> <laughs> and I do think that we need to move the lockers out first before we scream. So then move the lockers first? They were just gonna move it right back! <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, I'm trying to head up this operation. I'm trying to assert myself, okay? She don't <laughs> give a fuck. The bank, but in this kind of a situation, what you need is an alpha. <laughs> She's and like, that is not bad. Uh, alpha? Hormones, they are weak as shit. That's just chemistry. Move the fucking lockers. I think he's the alpha. Right? I'm fine. You want a sprite? You look kind of uh -uh. green. For real? You're shitty. I didn't want to do it wrong. You're shitty. I didn't want to do it wrong. You did call Mongo. Thank you, Mongo. <laughs> <laughs> we don't snitch. Ooh. I'm open and <laughs> I want everybody to stay. They got that type of dynamic. Be sending you guys to culinary school. But I already know how to do it. Oh. Huh. And let's do it, baby. Uh, Ibra, this is going to be a really great. <laughs> I don't want to wear a uniform. Okay, well, you can discuss that with the school. It's not that kind of. It's exciting. I accept. <laughs> when do we start? <laughs> Get the fuck out, start now. <laughs> five, five, five. Put it down. Uh, Zero nine zero one. Bruh, this is so aggravating. Get up two! Why are you Wait, fighting me on this? Why are you guys um y'all both all y'all being bad right now? Dude, can't get all right, right. hey, Mikey's got it. Locked. Thank you. Thank you. Marcus agrees with me. Huh? That's crazy. Don't be throwing my name in like that. Damn, damn. Oh. What? Oh, whatever's in that locker is it's probably his. heavy. No, it's it's what's his name? It's locker. Is that brother? Yeah, but they have to get the stuff out of it so they can move the locker easily, even more uh -huh. easier. So that's why they're opening it. What the fuck is that? It's just his hat. June 5th, 2010. <laughs> that was really fun. Damn. Yo, wanna work at the apartment? Oh. What do all these books you gave me? All the cookbooks? All of them. Goddamn, bro. I'll think on it. Cool. Cool. Um, Go to Pinterest or something. There was just a hat in it? Right, that's what I was... What? Come on. <laughs> what? Damn. I'm not an asshole. 
I was thinking that too, Sid. I mean, I thought they was take opening it initially to make things lighter. That's why I was, I was like that. Just much. Open it to open it. Oh. It what? <laughs> I forgot about the jeans in the oven. I, forgot, I didn't even remember seeing that. Oh. In the first episode. Oh, sold way them, sold back. Them jeans, yeah. Don't look him in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking like. Be. They some good bosses invested in their staff. Right, yeah. That sort of world. I like that. Still thinking chaos menu? Lame, right? I want to hate it. Like, don't get me wrong. I do. But looks sick. <laughs> and I bet it felt really good wearing it. Uh, maybe. I doubt I'm going to tell you to fuck off. Uh, uh, <laughs> when you got that call. The three-star call. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bypasses any sense of joy it just like attaches itself to dread this is not the answer you're expecting i had to turn over a really slow table because the entire united nations security council was coming in <laughs> wow <that's... laughs> god damn shit dirty i don't think that scraping working too well you can see fine from right there i need to see it you can see just fine from where you are God, stop being an asshole. Yeah, see? It's my ladder. That's why. Oh, you're such a fucking show off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I will grant you that it's gained some traction in recent media cycles. Mold is a buzzword, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's your middle name? What's my middle name? Yeah, like what's your middle name? Lawrence. Well, Richard Lawrence, I'm telling mom now. <laughs> <laughs> Richie, Richie Larry. Right I now, call mom. I dare you, call mom. mom. They gonna kiss. Gonna call mom. Call mom. Yeah, they about to. The, the mustache is about to tickle. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. You should have all received your student login after. He look good. I'll be sending you a link to the board so you can access the class notes oh at the god, end of the day. Oh god, this is giving me school PTSDs now. Oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> Okay, bro. Get it together. Uh, veal chopped demi glaze. Thing like. Hey, he's trying. He's trying. Yes. Marciana. Mm hmm. A vinegar. Some kind of. Cherry? Cherry vinegar? <laughs> Cherry vinegar. Cherry vinegar. Somebody about to cut their finger off. That's what makes me feel like. You got this, baby. You got this. <laughs> yes, chef. Damn, Tina B is encouraging and supportive. She Can I ask you something? Leave. Can you mm -hmm. tell me to fuck off? <laughs> <laughs> really want one of these bullshit stars? Yeah. Yeah, I really do. You're gonna have to care about everything. More than anything. Yep. It takes a lot of dedication. Beautiful. I mean, like this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lamb ragu. I've been working on it for like mm. 72 hours. It was Love me a good lamb ragu. Is that before you moved in with your dad? That is why I moved in with my dad. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was the one. Damn. Is your mom cool? Mm. <laughs> Wait, do you need roll aid or something? Did I give you heartburn? Because I. That's no. no, 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 no. Sorry, in sign, uh, two of my old chefs used to do it. Oh. They were angry, fighting on the line. I helped them. Huh. I kind of like that, actually. Didn't matter if one tore the other one apart. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's a good, uh, good little symbol. The frozen Concord grapes. We do like a beef consomme type thing, smoked bone marrow. That's something. Speaking my language. I don't even really know. Mikey died and I guess I never wanted to be in this place at be a all. Therapist? And then my in other the bathroom, brothers. On the floor, damn. I don't want to be here all the time. With the toilet fucking up. Is that healthy? So much is about to change. It's like she's talking to the toilet. <laughs> Just here to try and force everything to stay the same. Then I think. I could be good at this. Oh, can you, you talk to yourself? From, can you get away from the toilet? But as adults, we never try new things because it just becomes so easy to keep doing the same. Maybe she's doing like an audio journal. Maybe, yeah. Who doesn't want easy? Who doesn't want to just... 
Okay. The toilet is bothering the fuck out of me. I haven't even told anyone I'm pregnant. Oh. oh. I mean, at least you got Peter. No, I definitely already sent the one of the flush valve gasket. I don't even think that's where the issue is. Cause she she talking to herself. Yeah. No, I know. No. Okay, fine, Jean. She's got what you call it? Sin? She's got yeah. Plumber. Oh. Uh huh. He's talking to the plumber the whole time. <laughs> Wow, I guess the photo was uploading. She was just. She kinda... just told the plumber that she's pregnant. Why don't you learn how to fucking watch stuff? We have a mold problem. No, we don't. Uh, it wasn't. It was, why? Why would you lie? Sweetheart, did you call a mold man? No. <laughs> they would collapse when I go like this. Wow, that's some old classic <laughs> slapstick humor right there. But it worked really uh, well for uh, him. Three Stooges humor right there. <laughs> you got the Three Stooges too. <laughs> oh. You're not a ah. I'm with you. Dang, he's there late. He's putting in the work. He's putting in the work. Yeah. That's all it takes sometimes. What's that? Little mess. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Can't be so. You can tell going back to school brought back some trauma. For him. Yeah. Or maybe just. Or he probably just wasn't good in school or, or something. Or just him being old and getting through it. And, and it's just hard to go back, I feel, probably, at that age. Or to go. Maybe he never did go. Yeah, but, I mean, even like elementary, middle school, high school. Right, right, right. Like trauma from that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Maybe he's never been to school. Maybe he got... We were maybe 20. Is that her father? I imagine. And we hit a rock or something and popped the tire. And... Yeah. Ouch. But you don't know how to change a tire. <sighs> Not at all. <laughs> I was trying to figure it out. Okay. Fast. Yeah, you got a girl with Chica trying to look good. And I'm stalling. Under the hood. Then and, and I'm pretending like... Under the hood. It does not go... Your, mom, your, oh, mama, no. your mama was like a Southern Belle, a black... Oh my gosh. Yes, Beauregard. <laughs> oh. She gets out of the car. She commissioned Beauregard. It's definitely the radiator. And I was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> no. So then she walks to the back of the car. Grabs changes the that damn tide. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Looks at me, smiling. <laughs> I get yeah, Bob got good wow, humor. Wow, that's funny. The best. That's that's actually that's good. Is it Mama's birthday? Oh, R.I.P. Yeah, I have a feeling Mama was dead when she said. I was gonna make a joke when he said. How's At your, first, your I cool? wasn't sure I was like, if she, she just didn't know her mom well right. or she wasn't, you know. But I like Sydney as a character, so I didn't want to joke about it. Yeah. Ooh, got some ice cream or something. Who that walking up? Framed in the background, all blurry. Potential love interest. X. Carm. Claire. Oh, this X. That's the look. Don't be smiling at me. She looked like somebody from a different thing. You got there. Yeah, it took me a second. Took you a second, yeah. It's been uh forever. They probably was went to school together. With vanilla ice cream. That actually sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your life been, Brazado? I had no idea. <laughs> Dang, he's good with the ladies. <laughs> I have no idea. Mesmerized. They already like each other. Yeah. It's, it's, you don't have to be say the feeling is there. Thanks, Neil. Dang, so y'all could get along. Man, look like you got blackface on. <laughs> I, I didn't. I did. Right. Oh, shit. Alliance. Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Rebel Alliance. Yeah, we're just finishing up the menu now, but mm -hmm. it's really cool. Don't talk with your mouth full. Consistent, low to the ground, but obviously like a little bit above it. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you're excited and I am... <sighs> but I need you to pay them bills. Cousin Monty always has a job for you at Boeing. Okay. If that sounds boring. <laughs> That doesn't mean that that, that that you you won't. So then what does it mean? Why are you bringing it up? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just interesting that the backup plan is now the only plan. That's what happens when the first plan fails. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
That's... I know what I'm doing. I've learned a lot of lessons. I'm still learning, which is actually a good thing. This is why you don't tell people your plans until they're done. Have a partner. And you trust him? Yes. He's like the best chef in the world. Okay. I mean, I know daddy concerned, but I feel like... You okay? He could go about it in a little bit better way. I don't know. I just realized I'm like older than her now, you know? Damn. Wow. But just as wonderful. Oh, that's sweet. I gotta go wash my hands. You gonna go cry in the bathroom? <laughs> Ew. Yeah, you gotta wash your hands. Why are you gonna touch me? <laughs> Feel nasty. Hands off of me. You're a doctor now. I uh, almost a doctor. They're leaning against us. The They've been talking uh, yeah. for a minute. Yep. I'm a doctor. Uh, emergency medicine. Wow. Oh, that's chaotic. Yeah, that's intense. It isn't chill. Right. <laughs> is that something like you get to pick that? You do. <laughs> do you uh, remember Katie from Roosevelt? Oh, with the big ass. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to understand it. All right. That's a doctor for you. Her son wanted to become a chef. But what did you tell him? Not to. Don't, don't do that. <clears throat> yeah, I should really, um, I should really listen to myself. <clears throat> <clears throat> Opening a restaurant. <laughs> the name? I don't remember the name. Of course I remember the name. No. <laughs> uh, I've seen this clip before. Before we even started watching this really? show. Really? Oh. That you don't know the name. Prepare to be out of a million dollars, dude. <laughs> Could you remember the name? It went viral on TikTok or something. Because you're the bear and I remember you. Oh, damn. He was the bear in bed. <laughs> he was the bear. <laughs> the bear at breakfast. The bear at lunch. Then he fell back in love now. I guess it's just like, how am I getting my money now? For sure. <laughs> um, yeah, because you owe a million dollars. <laughs> would be like, that's that's fucked up, right? Somebody somewhere would be like really watching your ass. Like the IRS. <laughs> Deal. Yeah, no, that's that's clean. Yeah, that's clean. I'll just. Uh, they gonna fuck by the end of the episode. Get your contact information. Hey, ah, yeah, that's smooth. Um, hey, hey, that was kind of smooth. <laughs> she's, she's good. She is five, good. Five five five. They kind of look like brother and sister, though. Not gonna lie. Zero, Zero two. two. Zero two. Yep. Hope you gave it the right number. I swear you said zero one before. Might as well kiss it right now. Now we got a little love Everybody story. Everybody hurts. Got a little love story. I'm mm. coming eventually. Someone's coming eventually. Yeah. I like how they show everybody's, you know, struggles outside of work. Yeah. Just to show how when they come into work, they kind of have to like yeah. compartmentalize and like not think about it. But they're giving every character except Fact some kind of growth. Yeah, except Fact. Neil, whatever his real name is, Neil something. Richie Larry. What kind of Richard name is Lawrence. Richard Lawrence. Um, but yeah, solid, you know, not as crazy as some of those other episodes. Set up episodes, yeah. setting up the romance, yeah, setting up the mom dead, um, yep. setting up the dynamic between Set up the three the mom stooges, yeah, uh, setting up Mark, uh, I'm sorry, Ibri uh, and Ibrahim, uh, yeah, Ibrahim and Tina, brain's not working, their uh, journey, journey, yeah, Get to school, in the school, getting better, yeah. becoming chefs because Tina's gonna be the sous chef, yeah, setting up Nat, Natalie. Nat's mom's oh, pregnancy yeah. storyline. Mama, Mama Nat. And then Phil or Paul or his fucking names will come back into the show. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be like, oh, Peter. Peter. I yeah. was like, who the fuck is Phil Paul? He doesn't uh, deserve the name Peter. Peter Paul Phil. He don't deserve the name Peter. But yeah, what I was gonna say before is that if you notice, we told you to give me some insight into the fine dining or just the ser server restaurant industry. industry. If you notice in the first season and even, you know, I guess a little bit in this season, not so much yet because the restaurant's not open. We haven't really seen that many customers and it's been very stressful <laughs> most of the stress is from the co-workers yes the co-workers yes. are crazy yes. if all your yes. co-workers are chill working in a restaurant it's is chill. chill presuming that they're also capable yes capable because they, 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 there's plenty of chill co-workers yeah. but they don't know how to do their yeah. job no so sense like, get, the fuck, get the fuck out of here but some of these your co-workers let the guests get to them like way you know, too much way too much just, it's just, and then they project that on you they like they act like the guests they're worse than the guests don't get me wrong it is is a difficult thing to do to deal with hundreds of people a day some of the jobs we've worked in you deal with hundreds of people a day yeah fair but if you can't deal with it 
Get me on with it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to hear you complaining about the job that you already knew about before you clocked in today. Service be coming. You to the know back. what the job is already. They be coming to the back and be like, "Fucking table twenty one. <laughs> ask for a side of fucking lemons." Well, who else are they gonna ask for it? <laughs> right. Like what? Did Yo, you? I just. Oh. It's like I said. Would you like some bread? They say yes. Yeah. <laughs> they say yes. Would Don't you, you know I have to go would, get the bread? Would you if like you say order? Yes. yes, I would. What the hell? Why <laughs> would you ask me? I'm not your server. Now things yes, that you are. are annoying. Sorry if you are one of these people. Allergies. Allergies. Allergies don't annoy me. Um, nah, they annoy, they annoy me not using a person as being annoying, but when you, what we call in the weeds, and you have to deal with a complicated allergy that you have to type in, ask the questions, and be like thorough with it, it just makes everything starts to fall it's behind. It's not the allergies. It's when people say they have an allergy, that but too. do not have an allergy. No, that's annoying. Because they so. say they have an allergy, and you say, oh, you can't you can't order this because this has gluten. And they say, oh, that's that kind of gluten is fine. Yeah. What? And like, okay. Be, or be, be, be more specific. Say, oh, I have a gluten intolerance. I may want to decide on some things. I don't some, really like. I'm trying to not like, eat much oh, bread. Sourdough okay because it's got a less gluten content or something. I don't right, know. Yeah, I've heard yeah. a lot of things, but don't don't. Oh, we had a, the other day at a private offset event. Mm -hmm. We had a fleegan. Fleegan. A fleegan. Flexible vegan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flexible vegan. Like I guess you're you're they're still learning the vegan ways. I guess they're vegan in training. Um, I was like, what what is this? What is a flexible flexible vegan? The like, most you can stretch well. Um, inaccurate. I don't even say it's inaccurate. It's not. It can happen. I will say Richie's personality is more likely for him to be like a back house because apparently he's like front of house. He's like the what? Well, he's at the register. So it seems like Richie don't really know what he is. He don't really have a place he's just there he kind of there he's a supervisor like you know because he was working he, the register at he one was point right because he don't cook but i wouldn't consider the register a full like in that situation the register you, i mean it is a front yeah. of house position but it's not like he's not a server yeah he's definitely not no fucking yeah server. definitely not a server he don't have the he can't be a, there's no way he can be a he's got a because his personality is too crazy you gotta tune it up to be a server yeah he's so, like a food runner especially if they want a star <laughs> He yeah. can't be the server. But, I mean, who are the dishwashers? Are there the other two people that we don't pay attention to? Yeah. Do they the, have dishwashers? They, 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 yeah, they popped in a couple times. Yeah. I don't know their names. We've seen them a couple times. Yeah. The dishwashers are chill. To but, be honest, in the more upscale, fancy restaurants I've worked in, the dishwashers and the back of house, back of house, back of house staff are a little house. more chill Yeah. than the back and, of house staff in the like, more casual restaurants. Yeah. Because them shitty chain restaurants, to be fair, they're paid worse. Nobody gives a fuck. And I don't blame them. I don't give a fuck when yeah. I go there. I don't care as right, much yeah. either. But it's just, it's, it yeah. is a nice like yeah. the, the vibe between front the and back, back of house. Ha yeah, is a back bit of house less. people are a little more you got nice your and friendly. Your tattoo, no. <laughs> right. they're like a little bit more like people. Whereas sometimes the people in like the more casual restaurants, back of house, they they just crazy. I don't know. They just or they, not even crazy. They don't care about doing the job they're just there to get the money so like anything that involves doing the job is annoying to them yes so yes. like can i get a bullet of mustard they act like you need it for yourself not that you're asking for your guests can i get a bullet like, of mustard oh, uh, yes, wait of mustard, wait man. wait and like you know you're like bro i'm not asking for me you get paid the same regardless mm -hmm. i gotta get a tip so Whereas i need the mustard in the in the more casual but, like fine dining settings and more fine dining settings yeah you, you're asking for size of things and, and the chefs are like very yep right yes it, and yeah. it makes the job so much easier yeah for sure but uh, yeah co-workers is crazy in front of house staff is especially crazy because front of house staff is good at lying we all good at bullshitting tables forgot to ring in the order put the, uh, the kitchen is a little bit backed yeah, up the kitchen's a little bit back but some servers are so good like they're good at it no well sometimes i've told i tell a guest hey our food's taking so long it'll be out shortly and they say it's okay we know it's not your fault it, it actually was my fault. I didn't ring it in. I ring it in now, but I didn't ring it in on time. So now it's late. To be honest, because I forgot. I've been honest in 90% of the situations. Of tell, like, that's the thing. Sometimes I'd say it's going to be a little bit longer. It should be out shortly. And I don't say whose fault it is. I don't say the yes, kitchen's back right, up. Right, no, that's... But they just offer the fact that they're just like, no, we know it's not your fault. And then I don't say nothing. Yeah, no, no, no. See, I would have a hard point. time. I only will admit, I will admit fault or admit wrong. But the, the rule is, because I've worked in a management position too, the rule is don't address the issue unless it's an issue. Don't right. walk up to the table and say, I'm sorry, your food's taking a while. If they haven't noticed their food's taking a while. Because <laughs> right. if they're sitting there talking amongst themselves and enjoying themselves and food's taking a while, they're still having a good time. Yeah. We don't need to bring the negativity into the experience. 
experience. Not, right. One may say that's a little shady, but it's the truth. Like you're just creating more problems for everybody yeah. by manufacturing right. what they don't know necessarily. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when pe- when tables do have an issue or I can tell they've noticed, I'll just most of the time I'll be honest with them because I, I feel that for me I build a good rapport with my tables in the beginning. Right. So yes. I can be it yeah. affords me the chance to be honest and say, Hey, yeah. I made a mistake, your food will be out shortly though. Right. Yes. And it just by clear by just being upfront, yeah, it takes the tension away and people are like, Oh, okay. It's like, like they'll forgive one or two. Well, mistakes. Just, and it's also now they know what's going on. You didn't know. Most yeah. of the time you got the guests don't know what's happening, so they think, Oh, they about that bullshit. Yeah. They about that playing around. Yeah. Because <laughs> some people my mom is kind of like this. She has a very immediate adver- adversarial like relationship with any like waiters or whatever, any type of service that she thinks that they are out to get her. Like if something goes wrong, it's like, ooh, look at her. She's trying to <laughs> No, she not. She don't care. She she wants you to be happy too. I, I get paid when you're happy. <laughs> right, yeah. like, like one time I was looking, I had some food box to go. I'm looking for it. I can't find it. Like as a guest, me and my mom are out somewhere. And uh, I asked, she's like, oh, ask one of the servers. Maybe they grabbed it. I was like, okay. I asked him. She's like, oh, we haven't seen it. And I'm like, because we had a big party. We had a big, a lot of people. It was like a family reunion. And I look, I can't find it. And I go tell my mom. Was like, she said she hasn't seen it or whatever. She didn't take it. And she's like, she took it. They, they, they threw that away. They threw your food away. Why? Blah, blah, blah. Why? We have not have no. Like, if I threw your food away, it's because I fucked up on accident. Right. On accident. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It'd be on accident. So she either thinks it was an accident and now they're lying and saying that they didn't grab it, but or they did it on purpose. Regardless, <laughs> I ended up found I found it. It was there. They didn't take it. But it's just like her immediately was like, they definitely took it. She lying. Like, I don't know. It's just, that's just what how you, some guests are. They just automatically yeah. are kind of, you know. But um, that may come from dining out and having, having bad, bad service, experience. You know, yeah. maybe because when you go to like casual bars and stuff the service is not guaranteed to be as good yeah, there, yeah, there yeah. are exceptional servers in right, every yeah, restaurant yeah every restaurant has a good server one or two or a good bartender yeah. you know regardless but the the cheaper you go the you come on y'all know mcdonald's service ain't right <laughs> <laughs> what you want? Baby, I got it. But yeah. Yeah, this show's pretty good, though. Yeah. It definitely um, reminds me of work too much sometimes, but <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Catch us on the next one, right? See you later.